Jesus and his disciples set out for the villages of Caesarea Philippi. Along the way, he asked his disciples, Who do people say that I am? They said in reply, John the Baptist, others Elijah, still others one of the prophets. And he asked them, But who do you say that I am? Peter said in reply, Peter said to him in reply, You are the Christ. Then he warned them not to tell anyone about him. He began to teach them that the Son of Man must suffer greatly and be rejected by the elders, the chief priests, and the scribes, and be killed and rise after three days. He spoke this openly. Then Peter took him aside and began to rebuke him. At this he turned around and, looking at his disciples, rebuked Peter and said, Get behind me, Satan. You are thinking not as God does, but as human beings do. He summoned the crowd with his disciples and said to them, Whoever wishes to come after me must deny himself, take up his cross, and follow me. For whoever wishes to save his life will lose it. But whoever loses his life for my sake and that of the gospel will save it. The Gospel of the Lord. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Our Lady, Seat of Wisdom. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. There are several points we can reflect upon from today's gospel. First, our Lord asks Peter, who do people say that I am? And then he ha asks, uh, who do you say that I am? And Peter replies, you are the Christ. In the same way, this response is shown every day in our witness, in our witness in living the, our faith in following Jesus, that we not only say who Jesus is by our audible words, but also by every, everything by which we, we sh d demonstrate our, ourselves as disciples and followers of Christ, by thought, word, and action. In this way, we truly show forth who Christ is to us in our striving to, conformity, to conform ourselves ever more perfectly to Christ. And we see how we conform ourselves perfectly to Christ by our Lord's uh, summing up that, that path of perfection in denying ourself, by denying ourself and taping, taking up our, our cross and following him. And then our Lord concludes that the, whoever wishes to uh, save his life will lose it. Whoever loses his life will, for my sake, uh, will say, and that of the gospel will save it. In this, in this we see the, that, uh, that recipe or that, uh, that, spiritual, that spiritual key for perfection ultimately is dying to self, that daily call to die to self and dying to our self-will, our self-love, our self-desires, that we might perfectly conform to Christ who denied himself and, and, and uh, embraced the cross for love of us. And of course, we as humans, uh, for us as human beings, the greatest thing for us to overcome is is our is dying to self that God has given us uh, that gift of our our will and uh, that gift of our our will and our and our desires, but in this He 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 gives us that opportunity to 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 do something even greater in that gift of our will by giving it back to Him, and that we seek only to do His will and to please Him, and of course. This is accomplished only through that daily striving to unite ourselves to Christ and His cross, and and through and 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 made more uh, more easily accomplished uh, through through prayer and meditation. Prayer is to 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 
to reach this perfection of death to self, to die to self, it is required that we pray for that grace. Lord, help me to die to myself. Help me to die to my self-will. That I might only desire what you desire for me. And, and in this, also that uh, daily uh, med- reflecting upon uh, uh, our Lord and his cross, that he and his Holy Mother, who so willingly uh, gave up everything and suffered so perfect, so completely for us. With this as well, our Lord gives us the sacraments, the sacrament of confession, especially in the sacrament of the Holy Eucharist, by which our wills are more perfectly united to him in turning away from sin and turning away from our self-desires, our, our sinful desires and infl- inclinations, and strengthen that our hearts and our, des- our wills may be more perfectly united to him in, uh, in, uh, in being perfectly conformed to him. And this, of course, is our mission in life, to be perfectly conformed to Christ, to die to self completely. And we know that some of the saints were able to climb this ladder very quickly. We look at a Saint Teresa, the child Jesus, who died at the age of 24, or a, or, a, or Saint Gerard Magellan, and uh, many saints who died very young. Uh, uh, Blessed Pierre Giorgio Frassati, and, and so many others who who were able to grasp very, very quickly that 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 path to sanctity was 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 to die completely to self, and that they, through their prayers and meditation, through their uh, uh, use use of the sacraments, were able very quickly to to climb that ladder and conform themselves perfectly to Christ. In, in this. We should not be discouraged with our own struggles in dying to self. Our Lord encourages us not to give up. Our Lord encourages us to persevere uh, and uh, to to especially turn to his Holy Mother to help us. She who has all the graces we need to to acquire those virtues that our Lord desires for us. St. Maximian Colby said he was so consoled to know that the saints were not saints overnight. He was consoled to know that they too struggled, that they had faults and imperfections, and that they, he said, even sometimes fell into sin. But what made them saints is they persevered. They went to the sacraments, they went to confession, they renewed their resolution in striving for sanctity and holiness, and that they achieved that through that perseverance. And he says, we can do the same with the Immaculate in, in persevering, in striving daily to be to overcome those imperfections that we fall into and to be ever more uh, perfected in, in, in our conformity to Christ. May our Blessed Mother today grant us that grace to truly die to self, that we might see that in dying to self, we, don't, we gain everything, and that we become ever more uh, perfectly conformed to him who gave himself completely to us, and, and that uh, with her maternal help and grace, we too shall achieve that which Christ is calling us to. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit.